Welcome back to my channel. I am Dat Keto Lady, and I just want to say thanks for tuning in. Y'all are subscribing like crazy, and that is awesome because y'all are helping my channel grow, and I am truly thankful for that. Today, we're going to be making a recipe from my e-cookbook, Big Easy Keto, available on datketolady.com. And that recipe is for crispy ribs. This is a very easy recipe to make, and it doesn't require any special ingredients. So let's get cooking. Here's what we're gonna need for this recipe. We have our ribs right here. These are the pork spare ribs, and as you can see, it has a lot of fat on it. The reason that I get the spare ribs is because of the fat. It gets super crispy, and that's the part that I like. Yeah, the meat is good too, but I like to enjoy the crispy parts along with it. This is about four and a half pounds, a little bit over four and a half pounds. Get this at Walmart or I get the double pack from Sam's. It just depends on where I'm going for that week for the groceries and things like that. So the seasonings that we're gonna use are onion and garlic powder, but I'm gonna give you a couple of different um, seasoning options because this is a super flexible recipe. So I have onion powder, garlic powder, I have Tony's, which is a Creole seasoning, and I have salt and pepper. You could use this, and that's fine. That's one option. But you could also simply use a standalone seasoning like this. I actually found this at the Dollar Tree. It has very, very clean ingredients, no carbs, and as far as I'm concerned, there aren't anything, there isn't anything in here that is, um, not keto friendly. It doesn't have a, a ton of extra added ingredients. It doesn't have maltodextrin. It doesn't have any of that. And this whole thing was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So you could use this instead. So in today's video though, and since the original recipe that I have is written with this, we're gonna go with this seasoning blend. Once you put this in the oven, you're free to do other things. You don't have to stay in the kitchen and worry about being over a stove. The oven is gonna do everything you need to do and you can multitask and still have a really good dinner when it's all said and done. You will want to make sure you have a pan that has a raised edge around it. See, it has a lip that goes all the way around it. I put a liner of foil and parchment paper I use both of those because it just makes for easier cleanup, but you will have liquid that comes out of here, so you have to make sure you have something to contain all of that whenever it's baking. So number one, I don't wash the ribs. I just take them out of the package that it's in, over the sink, and just kind of let the juices that were on it drain off into the sink. So it's relatively dry already, it's, you know, as dry as it's gonna get. And then second of all, I do not remove the membrane on the back. I never have, that just feel like it's a step I don't have to do. But if you want to, by all means, it's perfectly fine. It will not change the recipe as far as that is concerned. But I just do the easiest way possible and that is take it out of the package, put it in the pan, season it, toss it in the oven. See the ribs have a nice coating of seasoning and I did obviously all of the different uh, seasonings. But if you wanted to do this one, all I would do is I would take it and I would just shake it very liberally covering the whole entire top only and that would be the completed seasoning. So I just wanted to explain how you would use this one in place of the multiple seasonings. Cover the pan with aluminum foil. It's gonna go in a preheated oven that is on 350 degrees for three hours. Once the three hours is up, then I take this top layer of aluminum foil off. I will turn the broiler on and let them crisp up on top for between three and five minutes. 
We are at the three hour mark on the ribs. I've taken the foil off. I'm gonna put them under the broiler or turn the broiler on on the oven for about five minutes just to crisp them up. The ribs are done. You can see all of the nice crispy pieces along there. Those are gonna be so bomb, so delicious, easy to make. This recipe is a no fail recipe. It's gonna come out perfect every time. It's gonna be so tender and so delicious. Dinner is all dished and ready to eat. You can see how beautiful those ribs are. They are nice and crispy. I paired it tonight with loaded collie mash and a beautiful side salad. Everything, including the salad dressing, is in my cookbook, Big Easy Keto. If you want to use a sugar-free sauce, this is G Hughes. You can get this at most Walmarts. This is another good option, Alterna Sweets, but this one is only available, as far as I know, online, but this one is really good. I just wanted to give you two sugar-free options, so now let's dig in. That concludes today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and more importantly, I hope that you will make the recipes and share it with the ones that you love the most. If you haven't already checked out my e-cookbook, go check it out. You can print it after purchase, too, even though it is an e-cookbook. And I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be alerted when I upload a new video, which won't be too long from now. I'm going to try to do at least one video every week. I don't know what all the recipes will be, but I'm going to keep them interesting and delicious. So I'll see you next time.